Hi, I'm Jennifer Kona. Welcome to Kona's Corner. Today we're going to talk about things that should not be included in your will. And if you do include them in your will, your family members can really get kind of tripped up and we don't want to see that happen to you. So one of the first things that people tend to think that should be included in their will are funeral instructions. You don't want to have those in your will because oftentimes your will is not read until much later. After your loved one has passed away, the, um, the burial has already taken place, um, services have already been had. So if you then read the will later, that has all taken place already. So that's why it's not best to have any kind of funeral or burial instructions in your will. In New York, we have a form called disposition of remains. That's where you set forth what you would like to have in terms of funeral arrangements, um, you can have all kinds of details in terms of even what you would like to have done at a service, songs sung, um, prayers read, whatever it may be. Um, and of course there's always pre-planning which is very wise um, to do pre-planning with a funeral home that takes the pressure off your family members and heirs. Um, you're setting everything out, you're paying for it now. It's a very good idea also for Medicaid planning purposes. Um, so those things do not go into your will. In terms of uh, jewelry, a lot of people say, I'm gonna list out a whole bunch of things in my will. You don't really wanna do that in a will. That's kind of cumbersome. Most people should leave a side letter if there's a lot of jewelry. Um, so that could be something that you would leave with your will, maybe attach it to your will, but not make it part of your will. And something to consider also is maybe giving that jewelry out during your lifetime. Let your heirs and beneficiaries enjoy that jewelry while you can see them enjoying it is also something to consider. Another thing is art. If you have valuable art, you need to consider the overall size of your estate and the value of that art because by including those, um, if they're valuable, valuable art pieces in your naming them in your will, you might be inadvertently bumping, bumping your estate value up into a taxable estate. Whereas if you left those pieces outside of your estate, you might be underneath those limits. So think about that, look at the values, and give that some thought with your financial advisor and your attorney. Another thing that comes up, if you have people in your life that maybe others don't know about, such as an illegitimate child, a former spouse that other people don't know about now, and you want to leave something to them, I've seen this happen in my practice. The will is not the best place to do that because now all of a sudden out of the blue, everybody else in the family knows about this person when you pass away and they had no idea this person existed before and you are gone and you can't answer any questions. That just really throws everybody into a tailspin. That's not what you intended, most likely. So leave some money to that person on the side, make a lifetime gift near the end of your life or what have you, not in the will. Most people have great intentions, but they don't think about what might happen when they're gone. And they never intend to disrupt the family or cause fighting or cause a breakdown in communications or an irreparable breach of the family unit, but sometimes these things will cause that to happen and it's certainly not what you wanted to happen. So we help our clients talk about those things and work through them and help them understand that this may be what will happen. So just a couple pointers, a couple things to think about, and I hope this information was helpful. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.